Good morning, children. Today we are going to see Unit Three Force Continuation. In this class, I am going to cover effect of force, change in direction and change in motion. Other things we can see in the next class. This I have taken from your textbook, page number one one seven. Now I'll just first read it out, and then after that I'll explain it to you. Okay. Now we are going to see effect of forces. Energy is needed to apply force. Force help us to do the following things. What are the things? Force can change in direction. Force can change the speed. Force can change a moving object. Force can change the shape. Today we are going to see force can change the direction and force can change the speed. That is, force can change the motion. Come, let's see. force changes direction here look at the picture a boy hits the shuttlecock and it reaches the other boy he hits again with the racket to move it to the opposite direction now just imagine that you and your friend are playing a shuttlecock or some other ball and uh, what you will do first you your turn just think that's your turn and you throw the ball to your friend and what your friend in turn will do he will throw the ball to you so first you will throw the ball to your friend and next he will throw the ball to you just imagine the movement of the ball that is uh, the ball first go in a forward direction that is to your friend and then come back to you that is the backward direction okay so this proves that force change in direction and what force is applied over here just think while throwing the ball you just uh, throw the ball how you will throw yes you will push the ball and then now if it is a shuttle cock or some other uh, thing and you will hit the ball so the uh, force applied over here is uh, hitting or pushing okay now coming to next uh, force change motion the cycle moves forward because force is applied on the cycle by pedaling when we stop pedaling the force is removed and the cycle stop and comes to rest just imagine that you are riding a cycle and what force you will apply to move the cycle if you just keep quiet the cycle will move no it won't we need to apply some force the force applied is called pedaling you need to pedal the cycle okay and after some time after a minute you just take your leg from the pedal what the cycle will do whether the cycle moves or it comes to in a resting position just imagine yes it will be in a resting position that means it on move this proves that force can change the speed force can change the motion both are same only motion is nothing but the moment this i told you in the previous class itself now some application of force in everyday is life look at the picture first the girl is opening the door if somebody is knocking the door what you will do at home yes you will open the door and what force you will apply you will pull the door and look at the next picture the game is called tug of war this game needs energy and also force and what force is applied over here they are pulling the rope so whichever team uh, apply more force that that uh, particular team wins the game and coming to the next point um, a boy is pulling a rope from the well to lift up the water from the well he is pulling it and what force is applied yes pull i hope children you all uh, would have understood uh, whether the force change the direction and also the motion that is the speed okay now with some more examples you can see the first example i have picked up for you is for change in direction now look at the picture 
these both both of the girls are playing a game called shuttlecock okay and this will be an example for change in direction so the cock moves here and there while hitting it so the force applied over here is hitting the cock and the ball moves the direction from here to there and there to here that is forward and backward and next example for change in motion that is change in speed or a change in your uh, movement now look at the boy the boy is riding the cycle and he is pedaling the force applied here is pedaling the cycle okay and look at the boy it now the cycle is in a rest position that means uh, in the second picture the boy doesn't apply any force to it hope you all would have understood uh, today's session and i just uh, want you to read uh, the definition for uh, force in direction force can change in direction and force can change in motion and also what are the effect of forces thank you children take care 